This is a good contest. I wish every contest was like this. Um, so we have a triangle ABC. Um, yeah, I, I feel like the problems are a little bit easier than I thought at first, but I, I still like them a lot. Um, I think they're like the perfect difficulty. So uh, O is the circumcenter. So let me uh, yeah, I think I avoided do yeah, they are long problems. I, I think I avoided doing them before just because I didn't like that there was like a part A and a part B, but part A is usually really easy and part B is like where the hard part is. So I don't think it's so bad. They're probably trying to give some points to the people that aren't as experience in geometry so they can get part A even if they don't get a part part B. Um, all right, so O is the center. Um, sorry, what? A, a, B is less than A, C, all right. I is the midpoint of arc B, C. So I'll draw the angle bisector just for the heck of it. So kind of similar to the last problem. Um, so this is point I, K lies on AC such that I, K, okay. So this is like the in center, X center lemma again. Um, right, so whoops, I want this one. And I didn't want that. I want to do this. So, um, so th this is going to be point K. This is going to be the end center. Uh, this is a little weird, but I'm going to call the end center J. And this point's K. Uh, BK intersects the circle at the second point D. All right. Um, it intersects AI at E. DI intersects AC at F. Oops, sorry. So this is a kite, DKIC is a kite. Um, so F is gonna be the midpoint of KC. Uh, we wanna show EF is BC over two. Um, I think that might be obvious because, let me label these points. So we want to so so F is the midpoint of KC and E is the midpoint of BK. So it's obvious that EF is BC over two. So part A again, super super easy. Um, EF is also parallel to BC. Um, yeah, F is the midpoint of KC. E is the midpoint of BK. So that's part A. Uh, for part B. M lies on BI such that CM is parallel to AB. All right. Let me let me make the diagram a little bit better. So we want, we still want AB to be less than AC, but yeah, that, that looks a little better. So, so I can make that point M. I'm gonna hide some of the extra lines in just a second. Um, M 
And I wonder if M is the midpoint of the eye. Let's check. No, not necessarily. Um, KM intersects BC at N. So whenever there's like these problems with a lot of intersection points, projected geometry is often um, a good approach. KM intersects BC at N. All right, the circumcircle of BKN, uh, it intersects O at P. Whoops. So this is gonna be point P. We want to show that PK passes through the midpoint of AD. So it looks like projective geometry, right? All these intersection points. Um, let me close this and hide some stuff. Um, Uh, so we have CM, see someone wrote something in the chat, hold on a second, CM is parallel to AD, and how did I come up with all the other points? So is there anything else I need to draw here? Uh, KN. Oh, KN and M. Okay. Now the chat. K is the midpoint of BE. Interesting, because E is the midpoint of BK, right? So, oh, is K, you're asking. Uh, I think it's not that likely, but I'll check because that would mean that that would mean that this is a trisects it, um, which I don't think is no, it's close in that diagram, but yeah. All right, so do we prove that F is the midpoint? Yeah, F has to be the midpoint of KC um, because. Wait, I thought I remembered why. I forgot. I thought I knew why. So IK is IC and DK is DC. Yeah, because because this is a this has to be a kite since IK is equal to IC and, and DK um, angle KDF is angle CDF. Um, so yeah, F, F has to be the midpoint of KC. For that reason, because since since I is the midpoint of arc BC, angle KDF is angle CDF, um, and IK is IC. Yeah. Um, so is ADEF cyclic? I think it is. It should be by a uh, Rhine's theorem or angle chase. I don't know if that really helps much. Can we draw the parallel from P to AD? Yes. Uh, do we even need E and F? Let me first see if I can hide some stuff. I don't even know if we need... Um, yeah, I can hide E and F, right? Let's see. I don't think I ever used that. Um, the Kell points. So, 
So uh, let's see. So M lies on BI such that CM is parallel to AD and KM intersects BC of N P. Okay, so um, let me see what Hakan, so, oops, the parallel from P to AD. Um, uh, I think uh, uh, this kind of uh, we we we're using the angle chase, my Michael. Okay. Okay. So um, let um, PK cut uh, the um, AD at um a point yeah, PK a point yeah and the um circle O at uh, a point too. Okay. Okay. So uh, we we gonna prove uh. AQ DK is a uh, um uh parallelogram maybe okay yes so um uh the triangle B B BK BKN mm -hmm. BKN uh is similar to uh AKC uh BKN is similar to uh, AKC or or, um, or or HK. Wait, so uh, hold on one sec. So N N is this point right here. So so uh, uh, BKN. Uh, did you say ABC? Uh, BKN, yeah, and ADC. Oh, DC. Okay, so BKN yeah. is similar to ADC. Uh, because uh, the angle KBN is uh, equal to DAC, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, angle BKN is uh, 180 minus uh, DKN. BKN okay. is, uh, yeah, but uh, DKN is equal to uh, uh, DCM. Uh, DKN is DCM because DKCM is cyclic. Uh, no, because uh, it is a kite. Oh, because it's a kite. Ah, okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, DKM is equal to DCM, but uh, ah. CM is um parallel to AD. So oh. uh, ADC is uh, one with in AT minus um DCM. So um, two triangle is similar. Okay. Yeah, so angle uh, KNB, KNB mm -hmm. as, uh, is uh, equal to DCA. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so so that uh, we have KB, KPB. KPB. Yeah, it's similar, it's uh, equal to DCA too. Okay. Yeah, so uh, arc, arc uh, QB is uh, uh, equal to arc uh, AD. So, 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 RQB is equal to arc AD. So, so, so AQ is parallel to BD. Yeah. Yeah, and we we need to prove uh, AK is uh, parallel to uh, QD too. Okay. Yeah, just using the angle chase. Uh, the uh, so uh, we need to prove arc. Uh, IQ is uh, equal to arc uh, DC, right? We need to show arc IQ is equal to arc CD. Yeah. Yeah. So arc IQ is um, arc uh, AD um, minus arc AB because arc AB is uh, uh, equal to arc QD. Okay. So, yes. So um, arc uh, AD is uh, angle ABD. Angle, angle ABD, yeah. Yeah, and uh, ACB is uh, ADB. 
Okay, I'm going to start writing this up. I think I think we have. I, I think yeah, it's just an angle chase. Once you um, once you find those two similar triangles, uh, I think the angle chase isn't too hard. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to start writing it up. So yeah, that's really the key idea is um, finding those similar triangles. Okay, so um, I'm gonna add back in E and F. All right. Um, so by the in center x center lemma, um, I is a circumcenter of BKC. Sorry, circumcenter of uh, triangle BKC and so ABIK is a, is a kite so E is the midpoint of BK I'll just say BE equals EK then um, since IK is equal to IC and um, angle BDI is angle CDI. So that means that um, uh, Uh, DKIC is a kite. And that implies that uh, CF equals FK. And then, and then those two together mean that EF is equal to BCR2. All right. So, so, so this is all part A. And then for part B, um, let, let PK intersect. I don't even think we, we really need point L. Um, although I guess it doesn't hurt to have it, right? Um, so let, let PK intersect AB in the circle. at Q and L. And uh, first, so now we're gonna try to show BKN is similar to ABC. So first I'll start out, so um, Angle, angle BKN is BKM, which is 180 minus DKM, which is 180 minus DCM. Uh, and trying to remember. And then and then CM is parallel, so that's yeah, okay. So uh, 
we have angle uh, BKN is angle BKM is uh, 180 minus angle um, BKM is 180 minus angle BCM. So first I'll say BKCM is a kite. So I'll, I'll add that at the top. So for BKMC is a kite. And so 180 minus DCM, that is uh, 180 minus ADM. And then, uh, which is 180 minus ADI. Um, so, 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 so eventually that's the same as ADC, right? Because, because 180 minus ADI, Um, because ADI is the same as, ADI intercepts that arc. Um, so, so that's the same as angle ABI, um, which, which is the same as ADC, right? Because hold on just a sec. So so ADI um, I'll just say this is equal to angle ABI. And is it obvious that that's ADC? Oh no, no, no. Um Michael, Michael, uh, what DC, DCM, uh, what 180 minus, minus DCM is uh, ADC, is equal to ADC, because CM is um, parallel to AD, ADC, not ADM. Okay, so DCM, oh, is, is 180 minus, oh, this is ADC, yeah, I yeah. see. So that's uh, ADC. Yes. And ADC, yeah, so, so, so then um, that's the first step. And then we also have uh, angle KBN is equal to DAC. And that means that triangle KBN, similar to triangle DAC, and uh, then once we know that, it's mostly uh, angle chasing, I think. So, um, so first we want to show one parallelism, then we want to show the other parallelism. So, uh, so we had angle QAK. Um, Okay, I'm trying to remember. Did, did we actually need those similar triangles to do? Let's see. Okay, so
forgot how it continues here. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, triangle KBM is similar to uh, DAC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, angle, angle BNK is uh, equal to uh, ACD. So uh, B, uh, B, BK is similar to ACD. So, so angle BNK is equal to angle ACD, right? Yes. Yeah. I agree with that. Yes, and BPK is similar to BNK. BPK is similar to BNK. Or, B, or it's equal to BNK. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, arc uh, BQ is uh, equal to uh, arc AD. Mm, that's right. I, yeah, okay. Yeah. So so angle BPQ equals angle BPK. equals uh, BPQ is, is uh, BPK is BNK is ACB. And so that means that um, AQ is parallel to BD. And then we want to show the other one. Is it just true by symmetry? Like, oh no, I don't think we can just say by symmetry it's true. Um, so, okay, so that shows that AQ is parallel to BD. And then the other one, let's see. So the other one we want to show AQ is equal to CD. Um, so AQ, so that would be like angle APK, um, yeah, we just use the angle J to prove IK is uh, parallel to QD. QD. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, angle um, I, 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 uh, IDQ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, IDQ is um, 180 minus uh, QID minus uh, IQD. Okay. Yeah, and uh, IQD is uh, 180 minus uh, QDB. QDB? Okay. Yeah, and QDB is uh, equal to uh, I. BK. QDB is okay. So we use one parallel to prove the other parallel, I guess. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, wait. We could just say, I think it's simpler than that. So, so basically, ABK is isosceles and, and AQDB is an isosceles trapezoid. So, yeah, AK is AB is QD. Yeah, there, there's enough information there to do that. Okay. Uh, although what, what you said might have been just as easy, but that's kind of just how, how I saw it. So, so AQDB is an isosceles trapezoid. And um, AB equals AK. So that means that AQDK is a parallelogram. or AQDK as a parallelogram. Um, and that means that once we know that, then we know that PK bisects 
uh, AB. All right, very nice. So I'll move on to the next one. So these are now gonna be the problems from the mock exams. Um, all right, so this is from the, the Deux Math Olympiad, or I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, so we have a triangle. Um, B prime is a reflection of B. So I, I've seen a lot of these sort of double reflection problems. Often they're pretty tricky. Um, so I reflect B over AC and C over AB. Let me um, make the diagram better. And um, gamma is the circumcircle of A. Let, let me draw in a couple things first. So obviously we have a bunch of kites here, right? And so we have two kites. Uh, we draw the circumcircle of um, A, B prime, C prime. And we draw the tangent to it at A. And it intersects B prime, C prime at X. Okay. Oops. And X prime is a reflection of X over A. So I'm gonna to have to make some more room here. Uh, we wanna show, oh, we wanna show X prime lies on BC. I guess another way to do that is just to let XA intersect BC at a point. And we want to show that A is a midpoint. That might be an easier way to do it. Um, so yeah, this one doesn't look super hard, but it's hard to tell. Um, all right. So angle A, we want it to be less than 60 degrees. I wonder if... I wonder if since A is less than 60, it means that like it tells you that where X is or which side it intersects on. So let's see. It's not easy to make a good diagram here. But I think that should be good enough. Uh, I'll shrink it a little bit more. I think that's good. All right. Oops. It's a weird diagram. So I'll label this point here. Let me hide some things. So we want to show that A is the midpoint of X prime B. Or A, A is the midpoint of XD. Interesting. It looks very symmetric. So we, we, we draw the tangent at A, it intersects B prime C prime at X and it intersects B C at D. 
This looks a lot like PowerPoint because x a squared is x b prime times x c prime. We want to show x and b have the same power with respect to this circle. That's basically what it says. Yeah, these problems with the two reflections can be very tricky. Notice that. So yeah, I'm thinking about the video that I did in the past with the, these two reflections. So I've done two videos like this before, at least two. Um, So if B prime C prime meets B C at a point, then I think A the if if we look at A B A C that point and 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 the, the nine point center, they I think they form a harmonic bundle. Uh well, I think one of them was Elmo. Yeah. You yeah, there's A, B, and A, C to meet the circle. Extend A, B, and A, C to meet the circle. Well, let me see first. Uh, let me see if this the circumcircle of A, B, C is tangent to that line. No, it's not. Okay. So I'll, I'll extend those two. I can actually move this up a lot if I want. That looks better. So oops. Okay, so we still have a bunch of kites, right? So AC prime EC is a kite. And I wonder if BCEF is cyclic. I don't think so, actually, but I'll check it. Yeah. Uh, is EF parallel to XD? Uh, let's see. It looks like it might be, uh, I don't think so. Cause like, it looks like they intersect there. Oops. Yeah, they're not parallel. All right. So, yeah, so the problems that I did before, I think a lot of them, like I drew the circumcircle of ABC, and then I drew the tangents at B and C. So I don't know how, how much I can use from those problems. Um, 
But yeah, I think this might be a really hard Olympiad, actually. And then, then what I did, so I'm going to erase this because I don't think it'll be super useful. But then I showed that HBC prime is congruent to HCB prime. Uh, I just don't think. Oh, wait, is AH perpendicular to X? I don't think so. It's very close, but uh, if I move things around, it won't be true. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to erase all that extra stuff. Yeah, let me let, I think I should let this, uh, intersect BC at a point. Maybe reflect B and C across A, right? Yeah, I probably have enough room for that. It's gonna say B double prime, C double, oh, B one prime, interesting. So yeah, that would make a parallelogram. Is are these collinear? C B one and X? Yes. So I guess we want to show is this always a parallelogram? I think, yeah, if the problem were true, that would have to be a parallelogram. So first of all, why are, is it obvious that C1, B1, and X are collinear? You have to prove that. That's not obvious, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we could prove that, that's pretty much, yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, we have to prove that. So yeah, B, these two, this line's parallel to this, and this line's parallel to this. <laughs> I know that the notation is terrible. I'll change the names of the, the points later, but uh, hmm. 
No, it's not cyclic. I think the last problem we did last session had a lot of reflections, didn't it? Um, so yeah, A, A is the circumcenter. Oh, wait, we should have, okay. Can you intersect BC with the circle, the bigger one? Uh, BC with the bigger one, yeah. What if, so A is, it's the circumcenter, A is the circumcenter of B, B1 prime B, yeah. And that's obvious, right, by definition. And that gives us a couple of right angles. I'm not sure. Can you intersect BC? Uh, can I intersect BC with what? With your circle. Oh, oh, on this side, you mean? Uh, yeah. Okay. You can prove that C prime H and B prime I intersect on uh, A O. We are done by Alter Butterfly theorem. C prime H and A and A O. C prime H and B prime I. And B prime I. So so basically so so label the intersection point of those two. Yeah. Uh, whoops. Okay. So I call this J. And then we try to use the butterfly theorem. So is J A perpendicular to X D? J A. Uh, perpendicular to x d. If we prove that we are done by outer butterfly theorem, the, the outer butterfly theorem, yeah. Someone actually just commented on uh, no, it's not, uh, it's close. Yeah, it used to always when you use this measurement tool. It used to always do the acute angle, but now it doesn't always do that. That's 83.7. I'm gonna draw back in those other points. Oops, sorry. You still think point J might be useful or? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I will try to find. Okay. I'll just put both of them for now. Can I draw the circumcenters of ABC and AB prime C prime? Yes. 
Um, okay, so the should be the center where the circle is called. C and I would think D. Oops, C and C one. Okay. There we go. So one thing I remember is if, if N is the nine point center of ABC, then AG, AB, AN, and AC are a harmonic bundle. I don't know how much that does, but... Uh... So, oh, I'm not sure if AL and the nine point center work linear. Maybe I should draw the nine point center. So, I'm not sure the fastest way to do it, but I'm going to do it this way. Um, Sorry, I'll, I'll move it right back in just a second. It is the five. It's what? The center, center's number is five, actually. We can type it. Oh, it's triangle center five? Yeah. There we go. So yeah, maybe that is collinear with L. It, it, it almost looks like it is. Um, I don't know which one's P and which one's K. I think P is the one is the one I just drew. So okay. So yeah, it looks like A, P, and L are collinear, and I think Hakan is saying you can just do an angle chase. Um, and then the, what I remember from the other problem is that, um, A, G, A, B, A, P, and A, C, that bundle is, is a harmonic conjugation. Um, I don't know what we should project it on. Ah, okay. Maybe, maybe Jay's collinear with them. That would be interesting. No. So yeah, is there something we can project them on to? Or maybe we're just making it too hard. I don't know.
It feels like there's a lot of symmetry in this problem. Just not sure how to take advantage of it. Maybe we can use Casey's theorem. Hmm. We find the yeah. Um, I'm not sure. So D D. It looks like it might be. Easier X. I'm not as sure. Yeah, I was thinking about yeah. So linearity of power of a point. So yeah, I I call that Casey's theorem. But yeah, you could call it either one. Um, but so okay, we can find X's power. What is the radical axis of? Um, so, 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 so here's um, the, so the difference between the power of a point with respect to two circles, uh, it's twice the difference between their centers times the distance from the point to the radical axis of those circles. Um, so, um, Here's the power of P with respect to omega one. So for any point P in any two circles, uh, we have this equation holds true. Um, so if O one and O two are the centers of the circles, then where L is the radical axis. So yeah, this is a, a really useful theorem. Um, so th this is basically the same thing as linearity of power of a point. Um, it's more, it's probably, yeah. So basically we wanna show that, we, we wanna show that D and X have the same power with respect to the circle. Um, but maybe there's some other circle that we can, maybe we can compare the powers of D with respect to this circle and something, and then we can compare the powers of X with respect to this circle and something else. And then, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the other circle would be though. That's the thing. But yeah, I used this idea to solve IMO, uh, I think it was 2019 number six, and I, I've used it a bunch of times. It's very powerful, um, powerful, but yeah. All right, I'll spend like five more minutes on this and then we can try moving. So what is the radical axis of the nine point circle in A, uh, B prime, C prime? So that would go through, um, oh yeah. Yeah, what's the easiest way to, to draw a radical axis? I still don't know. Well, well, I guess you could draw tangents 
like you could just say actually I'm not sure You guys know a good way to draw the radical axis of um, two circles? So A, L, and P are collinear, so that should make it easier. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess here's one way I could do it. So we know it, so draw AL. So AL is perpendicular to BX, right? Um, and then if I draw another point, basically I would draw the two tangents to the circle, uh, either one, I guess. It's kind of messy, but uh, R and uh, ah. it's hard. So, so uh, I want the midpoints of QR and I just label this. I just want to label this other point. Yeah, so if I take the midpoint of uh, QS and the midpoint of uh, midpoint of QR, and then I want to connect them. So I want to see where TU meets that. So yeah, I'm doing all of this just to draw the radical center. But basically, TU should always intersect that line in the same point. Um, no, that's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Sorry. All right, you guys want to move on to the next problem? I think I'm going to do that. We can come back to this. Um, let's see. So here we have a triangle ABC. Um, M is the midpoint of arc BAC. Uh, and then D is the point. So this is uh, this is M. And then we want the circumcircle of MAD to be tangent to BC. So we're going to want to draw the perpendicular bisector. Um, okay, so we want it to be tangent to BC. So basically, I'm going to draw this point here. Um, I, th I think I want to draw, I'm not sure if it's even right, but I 
Right, so I want the circumcircle of MAD um, to be tangent to BC. How would I do that? I don't know if there's a great way to draw that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just I'll just leave it like that for now. So um, P is on BC so that AP and MD are concurrent. Okay, on the circle. So basically. Um, we call this point P and then AP and MD are concurrent on it. So, oh no, this is P, sorry. So I can call that one Q. Oh, they already use Q. We'll call it R. Um, Q is the intersection of MA and BC. N, uh, first I'm going to draw the rest. So N is the midpoint of MD. X is the intersection of NQ and MP. So let me draw point Q. Let's make it easier. So. This point is Q, and then X is the intersection of NQ and MP. Oops. And we want to show that MDB is XDC. Interesting. So that's that, that's that's the same as saying that yeah, XDQ is MDC. Um, but yeah, I still just guessed. Like I don't know how to draw it perfectly with that point B, so I just made a guess. So here we go.
Any ideas? This also looks like a hard one. Let's see. So maybe similar triangle somewhere is uh so n is the midpoint of mb obviously we're, we're going to want to use that um angle nbc is angle mbc which is angle mad so i mean another way we could say it is we want to show angle mad is x d q um, is, is XDP similar to MAD? Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of hard for me to check here because I just guessed where D should be. But it suffices to show that DQ is the angle bisector of XDR. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I agree with that. Um, Hmm. Is DA equal to DR? Um, I don't. Again, I, I didn't draw the diagram perfectly, but I don't think that's true. No, um, it's not. That looks pretty tangent, doesn't it? I wonder if dx is perpendicular to qn. ADRQ, is it cyclic? Um, yes, it looks very cyclic. And I wonder if XD is, tan is perpendicular. I mean, Uh, it's hard to tell. If I shift this around. Yeah, uh, may maybe it's. Uh, I think I think this is a perpendicular right here. It's hard to know for sure. But 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 um, what I could do is so. Oops. So if I take angle CMD, I want it to equal angle MAD. Oops. Ah, those are not exactly equal. So I don't think it is perpendicular. Um, I want those two angles to be equal. It's about as close as I'm going to get with GeoGebra. But if I do that, I don't think angle DX and let's see. Um, by angle chase, QR is also tangent to ABC. Interesting. So QR is tangent. And we could check that. So these angles should be at least close. QRM. Whoops. Okay. So it has to be counterclockwise. Um, oh, this one I didn't measure right. Let's 
It drives me crazy how you have to, it used to always be acute. Now you have to do it in the right order. So the, yeah, the, those, those are equal. Um, QRA equals QDA, which is uh, AMR. Yeah, because that's AMD, which is AMR. So, so QR is tangent. So QD is equal to QR. Because, by, because QD squared is QA times, ah, oh, nice. So QD is QR. That seems pretty helpful. Now I think we're pretty close actually. So angle QDR is the same as angle QRD. Um, okay. So, so do you think you've solved it? Um, okay. So yeah, we have to use that N as the midpoint somewhere. Maybe I should label the center of the circle AMD. If we can prove X is tangent, then we're done. Because yeah, because then angle XDQ would be equal to angle DRQ. Um, Is XA equal to XD? Um, it looks like it. It looks like X is the... Yeah, it looks like X, XA is equal to XD. Either that or they're really, really close, but I think they're equal. I wonder if BX bisects ABC or yeah, I wonder if BX is the angle bisector of ABD. And I draw the centers of ADQR and ADM. Yes. Uh, what are they called? D center of C and center of D. I can use it. Oh yeah, you're right. I could use the midpoint tool. I forgot about that. I realized that once, but I just forgot it. Yeah.
So yeah, where do we use that N as the midpoint? So We are done if we prove that XT is tangent to AQRD, right? Yes, that would solve it. AN is a median and ADQ. Is that really true? Yeah, I think that's by similar triangles. Uh, and then N, NA and ND, well, ND, what, what would ND be tan? Oh, it's all right. Are Q and A R perpendicular? Uh, Q N and A R. Um, uh, Q X and A R. You're right. The tangent at A and D concur on Q N. Interesting. Okay. So if we draw those two tangents. So, 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 I mean, basically you're saying that if we draw this point right here, then H, A, Q, D is harmonic. Yeah. We know that. So then maybe we could project, um, Yeah, it looks like, yeah. So we're trying to show XD is tangent. We want to show X is that, that point of concurrency. How do you know that QDH is harmonic? Um, Hakan just Hakan said he found a way to show that. Um, I guess Hakan really just said it. Q1 is a semedian. Yo, I see it. Ah, okay. By similar trials. Uh, P, M, and X. Yeah, I guess we have to use that fact. So, yeah. Yeah, we haven't used that M as the midpoint of arc BC. Q, R is tangent to the circle. Uh, yes, yeah, Q, R is tangent, yes. So yeah, can we project through M onto the circle? Well, uh, Pascal finishes. Oh, really? How does Pascal finish? Let's see. 
A-A-R-D-D-Q. So that shows that P, basically, um, PM, PM and the two tangents have to be collinear. Oh, nice. So, all right, so, so yeah, so that's true in general. Like P, like if you have a cyclic quadrilateral like this, PM and the two tangents will be collinear. Um, but how do you know that point lies on on um, QN? I guess because we know QN is immediate. Because it's okay. All right. So I will write that up. All right. So if we start from the beginning, um, there is the first angle chase that that shows us that ADRQ is cyclic. So R. Um, R is not mentioned in the problem, but um, but AP and DM meet at R. Okay. All right. And then, whoops. Okay, I'm just gonna, so from the chat, um, yeah, ADQ, so I'm just gonna go, go back in the chat because I know we um, proved it. So Q QRA equals QDA equals AMR. Oops. And that implies A, Q, or D is cyclic. Cyclic. And um, and once we have that, um, so we have we have QA times QM, QD squared is QA times QM, um, which I'm trying to remember. Sorry, my memory is not that good. Oh, by an angle chase, QR is tangent. Yeah, so. So ang angle Q, oops, all right. ARQ is AMR. All right, okay, so let's all we'll copy that. Next step. And then once we know that, whoops. Hopefully this will work. Once we know that, then we have um, 
QD equals QR, right? So yeah, help me out here a little bit. So QD squared is QA times QM is QR squared. So that means uh, QD equals QR. And then QDA is similar to QMB. Um, QDA is similar to QMB. So uh, QN is a median of QMB, means that it's a semi-median in QAD. It is a, a semi-median of QAD. QAD. Um, so that means by Pascal's theorem on, so that, that means QAHD is harmonic. Then by Pascal's theorem on, so let me, um, AARD to Q. Okay. Uh, the tangents at A and B to um, the circle AQRD. Concur on uh, MP. And um, so, and this says that the tangents at A and B concur on uh, QH. B to A Q R D. So this says they concur on QH. And the other one says they concur on MP. So combining the two, um, QH and MP uh, concur at point X. So 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 Q H M P. So 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 that means X X D is tangent to the circle. So. And then once we know that, um, we have angle XDQ um, is equal to angle QRD. 
So angle XDQ equals angle QRD equals angle QDR equals angle MDC. And that implies uh, angle MDB equals angle XDC. Let's see how that came out. I could just put drag it down here. I think I got everything. All right. XDQ is QRD is QDR. All right. So I think. Uh, my Michael, Michael. Could yeah. you return to the, the, the uh, previous, previous uh, problem? I have the solution for that. You have another solution for the previous one? Yeah, yeah. The reflection one. All right. Let's go to it. Uh, one sec. Let, let, let me just go back. Sorry. Um, I accidentally made this smaller. So, um, so what's your solution? Yeah. Uh, so we we all know that uh, if um, x a is uh, the tangent of the uh, circle a uh, c prime b prime, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, x b prime over x c prime is equal to a b prime square over a c uh, prime square, right? All right, hold on one sec. Let me let me write it out. So so did you use the nine point circle? No 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 I I I I don't I don't, I don't use that. Yes. All right. I'm gonna delete some of the extra yeah, stuff. You could uh, be delete on mm, yeah. All right. Do you need E and F? No no. no. Uh, do you need G? Uh, no, uh, just, uh, yeah, you, you could, uh, yeah, erase it all, delete it all. Right. Yeah. So uh, we, we, we will still use the reflection uh, over A, uh, reflection of B over A and uh, C over A. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hold, hold, sorry, hold on just a sec. Let me get everything set so that I can... Um, yeah, sorry, this is over. Okay. So you reflect B over A and C over it. Okay. So, uh, oh, but you, so you did want those points. Sorry, I, I deleted them, but you reflect. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I still would reflect it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, reflect uh, B over A and C over A. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, we, 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 we all notice that if, if uh, XA is the tension, so we we have the ratio that I uh, have just say. Just name it uh, B one and C one, uh, Michael. So uh, it will be easy to to say. Okay. B one and yeah. C one. Yes. Um, all right. Okay. So if um if uh, X A is, is the uh, tension. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, X uh, B prime over X uh, C prime. Is equal to a b prime square over a c c prime square. X b prime over x c prime is equal to uh, a a b prime over a c prime squared. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So now we we uh, we let um, b one and c one cut b prime and c prime. All right, so we, we let okay. B, B1, C1. So, so, so you want to draw B1, C1 and see where it cuts B prime, C prime? Yeah. Okay. At, at a point, uh, just, uh, let it um, uh, Y, Y. Okay. Or could I call it X prime? Okay, X prime is okay, but uh, yeah. All right. Okay, so you... we, we got to prove uh, that uh, X prime uh, X prime B prime. Yeah, we're gonna prove uh, X will lead up to the, the, the same uh, rate ratio. So X is uh, the same with uh, X prime. Okay. Okay, so we have that um, B1, B1, B uh, is um, perpendicular to uh, B 
B1 B1 B prime is perpendicular to B B prime. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So uh, it will parallel to uh, C C C1. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, C C one C prime is parallel to uh, um, A uh, A B. Yeah. Yeah, A B. Yeah. So let B prime C prime cut A B A C at uh, uh, E and F. So so these two points. Yeah. Yeah, two point. Yeah, E and F. So uh, X X B prime over x a is uh, equal to b prime b1 over mm. a c1 yeah and um x uh, f over x a c prime is equal to uh, b prime f over c c1 c mm -hmm. uh, c1 c prime but uh, the two triangle c1 c C, C1, C prime, and B, B1, B prime is uh, similar. They're similar, tri they're both right triangles and they're similar. Okay, I'm gonna quickly write out the idea. Um, so, um, okay, so, 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 so you use that to prove that C1, B1, and X uh, are collinear and then that, yeah. okay, so, so let me, um, let, let me delete point B. I'm just going to write this out quickly because we're out of time. Um, but yeah, I think the viewers will like this. So, whoops. Yeah, we will define x as uh, b1 c1 cut uh, b prime c prime. So we're gonna prove uh, x a is the uh, detention. Okay, I ac sorry, I accidentally deleted the formula over there. There we go. Okay. Oops, I'm not doing so well here. So, okay, so first I'll say, so, um, so X A is tangent to A B prime C prime. That means that that's true. And then let X, so, let B1 and C1 be the reflections of B and C over A. And let B1, C1 intersect B prime C prime at X. Or, or I'll, I'll say x prime. Then um, the, 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 then okay. So since I'm just writing this out quickly, I'll just say b prime b one is parallel to ac. And c prime c one is parallel to a b yeah so um so x prime b prime over x prime e uh, 
uh, is equal to x prime b1 over x prime b Oh, no, no. Uh, we, oh, did we use, use this? Uh, okay, okay. And then we could do the same thing, but replace E with F. Um, so uh, my call. We, we, we don't we don't use that uh, we use um, b1 prime in c1e not uh, x uh, x1 uh, x prime b1 in x prime uh, c1 x prime b1 over x prime no no we, we use uh, x prime b prime over x prime a is equal to b prime b1 over a c1 oh b prime b1 over e c1 okay yeah Okay. Yes. And then, okay. So then I'll say, do the same. Do the same thing. Um. Uh, I'll just write this out really quick. So, so e, then f. So. This would be um, C X prime F over uh, yes C prime C one over uh, let me see if this works C prime and then so so combining the two um, I'll, I'll just say X prime X prime C not X prime B oh sorry. X prime C, C prime. And then I'll just say like with with some more work, uh, yeah. with a little bit more work, we can show this. So X prime equals X. Okay. And this means that X prime equals X. And then it's it's and then from there it's easy to see. I'll just say it's easy to see that x prime lies on BC. Oh, but there was already x prime in the problem. My bad. <laughs> I'll say it's easy to see that the reflection. I should have called it y. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that was a very cool solution to that last problem. Um, thanks everyone for joining. And um, yeah, this is a, a nice contest that we ended up choosing, very difficult. So I'm, I'm happy we got through uh, five out of the six problems. Um, so if any of you would like to join next time, um, the sessions are now on at 9 a.m. U.S. Central Time, so I've moved it back an hour. Um, so feel free to uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thanks.